If you are grieving the loss of someone you love, I have a question for you. Who do you need to forgive? Do you need to forgive the people who say things that just aren't helpful? Do you need to forgive the people who tell you to just move on? Do you need to forgive the people who don't understand? Do you need to forgive the person that you've lost for leaving you here in this scenario? Or do you need to forgive yourself? Today, we are going to use Wayne Dyer's words to talk about the power of forgiveness. We spoke this week in my grief class about the power of forgiveness, and we asked ourselves collectively, who do we need to forgive? Where are we hanging on to the bitterness, the resentment, maybe dislike, maybe even some hate for some things that have happened. And one of the things that we've learned is that holding on to these feelings and not engaging in forgiveness is really something that's more hurtful to ourselves than it is to anyone else. And so we wanna talk today about the power of forgiveness. And I went to Wayne Dyer and his words. I was listening to a podcast of his and I couldn't help but write some of these words down. And so I wanna share them with you and then ask you who you need to forgive. Wayne Dyer says that forgiveness is not about condoning harmful actions or pretending that hurt didn't happen. It's about freeing yourself from the burden of resentment. It's about choosing peace over being right. I love these words so much because when we are hurt, when someone hurts us with their words, with their physical actions, we don't want to condone them. And by forgiving them, we're not condoning them. And we're not pretending that the hurt didn't happen, like Wayne Dyer says. But when we hang on to that hurt, that's where we become a prisoner to the pain that we're experiencing. It becomes a burden, as he says, the burden of resentment. And so he suggests choosing peace as a way to move forward. And I love that so much because forgiveness, whether it be for someone else or even for yourself, is about choosing peace, letting go. He goes on to ask, is there someone that you need to forgive? So that's a question that I want you to contemplate today. Is there someone that you need to forgive? And take a moment and pause the video here if you need to, and really ask yourself that question, who do I need to forgive the most? And there may be more than one person, but let's take a moment and decide who have we not forgiven? And he suggests, perhaps it's a parent who didn't know how to love you the way you needed. Maybe it's a friend who betrayed your trust. Perhaps the person you need to forgive the most is yourself. Mm. So often when I talk to people about grief and guilt, we hold on to guilt because we don't want to choose to forgive ourselves. And when I talk to people about guilt, I explain that releasing guilt, which is what we want to do when we feel guilty, is about choosing to forgive ourselves. It's not necessarily about forgetting the past, but it's about moving forward. And Wayne Dyer talks about that next. He says, forgiveness does not happen overnight. It is a process, just like grief is a process. It is a journey, but it starts with a decision to release the past and choose love over fear. It is a decision to release the past and choose love over fear. So when we think about forgiveness, forgiveness is so much about moving forward. 
That's what we try to do here at Grief Inspired is we want to move forward. We want to heal our grief. We want to heal the past, but it's all in an effort so that we can move forward and keep on living. It starts with a decision to release the past and choose love over fear. And again, I love that he, he takes into account that these things don't happen overnight, that it is a process and it's a practice. And we have to practice forgiving, forgiving other people when they say the things that are so hurtful, when they tell you to move on, that you've been grieving long enough, when they tell you, and I've had people say this, that if you were more faithful to God, that your loved one wouldn't have died that there's something inherently wrong with you that you did something to cause their death. I don't believe in a God that is vengeful and hurtful and wants us to suffer. I believe in a God who's there to teach us how to forgive when we do suffer. To release the past and choose love over fear. I believe in a God of love. I believe that the healing that we all want is not in fear, it's in love, and it's in that choosing to forgive. And Wayne Dyer says that when we choose love over fear, it's to prioritize your peace of mind. How much are we struggling, not only with our grief, but I call it mental gymnastics, the rumination, the going over things over and over again, where we beat ourselves up, where we're too hard on ourselves, where we can't let go, where we hold on to the pain and the bitterness and the resentment. And here's where the magic happens. Wayne Dyer says, here's the beautiful thing about forgiveness. When you forgive, you are not changing the past. You're changing the future. You are creating space for new possibilities, new relationships, and new ways of being. There is so much about grief and loss and losing the people that we love that can leave us in a tailspin, that can leave us hurt, feeling sometimes like a caged animal where we feel like we need to lash out to protect ourselves because things are so raw. And if you felt that way, you know what I'm talking about. And I want to ask you to, to let others know that, that that is a reality for a lot of us in grief. But Wayne Dyer says that the path is for forgiveness. Forgiveness of others, forgiveness of the past, and forgiveness of yourself. So that you can change the future and have a new future that's not stuck in pain. A future that's healing, a future that's acceptance, a future that's full of understanding, awareness of ourself and of our life, and a future that allows us to keep on living. Our grief is about again and again, and I say this over and over, our grief is about our life. Our grief is about how do we move forward without them? My house, I'm moving. This is the week. I've been telling you it's coming. This is the week that it's happening. And there's so many times when I wish I could talk to my dad this week. And I bet you have someone that you wish you could be talking to this week too. But going through the grief journey and healing is about learning how to keep on living and how to move forward and dealing with the change that that brings and learning, like Wayne Dyer says, learning how to forgive the past. You're not changing the past, you're forgiving the past and you are changing the future. I want to encourage you today to identify who you need to forgive and begin that practice to forgive them not for them, but for you. And if you need to forgive yourself, please consider doing that today. 
letting your imperfections go, releasing yourself from all that binds you so that we can move forward, so that we can keep on living. And if I can help you on that journey, I want to encourage you to reach out to me at griefinspired at gmail.com. Let's talk about it. Let's learn how to forgive. Let's practice. And let's keep on living.